welcome to today's Tuesday tip. Today's tip is going to be on cooperative housing and Section 8 residents and applicants. Cooperative housing is a different type of home ownership. Instead of owning an actual real estate, with cooperative housing, you own a part of a corporation that owns the building. It's kind of like buying shares in a corporation. The cooperative housing owner usually has an ownership entity in an apartment within the building or buildings, and they lease it out or the corporation leases it out to fill vacancies. Based on the lease discussion from last week, I received a question from a manager of a cooperative wanting to know if a Section 8 resident who applies at the cooperative has to fill out the Section 8 lease. Residents have to sign a model lease, but the answer to her question is no. Not the HUD model lease, however, it must be a lease type under HUD's supervised program. They're listed in Chapter 6, Paragraph 6-5 of the 4350.3 HUD Handbook. There are three categories, your typical HUD model leases, and there are four of them, the state agency issued leases, and cooperative occupancy agreements. That's what the cooperative housing lease is called, a cooperative occupancy agreement. Although a family receiving Section 8 assistance and residing in a cooperative is subject to the same regulatory tendencies, requirements as other Section 8 assisted families, the cooperatives use HUD approved occupancy agreements in lieu of a HUD model lease. Occupancy agreements for assisted cooperatives must incorporate the following. First, the cooperative's policy on unit transfers. Secondly, it must include paragraphs 15, 16, 17, and 23 and 25 of the HUD model lease covering recertifications, terminations, assistance, and fraud. I certainly hope this helps dealing with lease occupancy agreements for cooperatives. And join us next week for another Tuesday Tip. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.